uh, last time on Higurashi. Uh, Keiichi almost killed himself with uh, house fires and Satoko talked about her older brother that's most likely dead. Uh, other than that, eh, it's so far pretty good. Uh, the first chapter was kind of small, so I assume the message at the beginning was true, so I assume it's going to be quite a bit smaller than the regular ones, which is fine by me, honestly. As long as they tell a good story, <laughs> I really don't care. But anyways, let's continue. To chapter 2. Oh yeah, this is where Keiichi's gonna die as well. Okay. Anyway. Lunchtime has finally arrived. Mion gleefully announced the beginning of lunch. Ho ho ho! Lunchtime at last. Someone here will have to pay th play the punishment game, yes? Oh, the punishment this time. It's a little scary, so... Sorry, but Rena went all out on making her bento. In Rena's case, I don't think she w she'd lose even if she wasn't taking it seriously. We... We tried our hardest, too. Satoko and Rika makes made separate lunches today. Usually you have the same bento. But that won't do for the showdown today, will it? Yeah, it's quite alright. Rika and I made sure to make separate ones. Wow, Satoko and Rika both tried really hard. How exciting. What's a little surprising is that Keichan was able to make a bento. Good job, Keichan. It looks like you really can do it if you try. Yeah, I definitely did that. I scratched my head and gave her a dry smile. My bento today had been made entirely by Satoko last night. It had none of my personality, so there wasn't anything there that they could praise me for. What does Keiichi-kun's bento look like? Oh, I can't wait to see. Don't expect too much. It's just the leftover rice and side dishes from last night. Leftovers are the foundation of bentos. Thank you, Rika. Ho ho ho! Now we'll know your dinner last night, too. You will kill two birds with one stone. Was it really better to hide the fact that Saltico came over and made lunch last night? Well, of course it was. If I revealed that, and I didn't even... I didn't eat, make my own bento, I'd be sure to end up playing the punishment game. You still are. Today's punishment game was... To stand right in front of the curry maniac Chie sensei and say bad things about curry. curry. It wasn't too different from telling someone to jump out, out of a hundredth story window. Jesus. She does take it a bit too seriously. It was exactly the same as telling someone to die. Jesus Christ. A little harsh. But me, John. How will we decide who wins and who loses the bento showdown? We all vote. Keiichi-kun made his own today, too, so maybe we could call it a- should draw, call it a draw for today. No. We could do that. The punishment game yesterday was sort of a wimp to- uh, Sort of a whip to encourage Keiichi to cook for himself, after all. And Keiichi made his own, too, so it's a draw. My simple bento was last, li last night's leftovers. Could never have stood up to everyone else's bento that they made to win. Yeah, you're fucked. You know Mion's gonna be like, Ah, no, you're not getting out of this one, fucko. I fully understood Satoko and Rika's concern for me as they tried to end the showdown peacefully. Peaceably. However, the club president, Mion Sonozaki, could, would not be convinced by something like that. Exactly. <laughs> I wonder why you're all so optimistic. Leaving one of our showdowns in such a gray area is out of the question. Now that we've clashed, we must settle the score. Reconciling with the draw only happens in the Yakuza world. I knew you'd say that. There's no way you'd end the way, end it that way with your battle lust. This is bad. At this rate, I was sure to be the sole loser. But well, I didn't make this bento after all. Maybe I need to resign myself to my in inevitable loss. Never give up. Go down line. Okay, me. 
how are we going to decide who wins? It's a good point. But I mean, that's why that's what I was saying. Just grade each other. I mean, fuck it. I mean, I'm sure Bias wouldn't be involved whenever Satoko gives Keiichi an F. You know. And definitely me giving Mio an A, no matter even if it tastes like utter shit. I mean, no, there's no bias there. It won't be fair if we grade each other's. Let's do an open judgment. Okay, everyone, assemble. Actually, what you could do is like a sort of blind t t uh, taste test. Where you just arrange, like, me own arranges all of them, puts letters on all of them or something. Someone does. And then you just, like, either blindfold or just don't pay attention. I don't know. And just pick which one of your, was your favorite. Mion commanded everyone who had just started eating using her club, club president voice. Come and judge our five bento. Write your favorite three on a piece of paper and submit it. Understand? Everyone in the class was used to being dragged into Mion's club activities. Yeah. Came the energetic voice from here and there. Everyone already knew that the showdown this time involved an utterly fatal punishment game, and they were all very interested in what would happen to whoever lost. Of course they won the thrill of seeing something terrifying. Okay, everyone ready? Then I'll go first, alright? Ta-da! In exaggerated fashion, Mion pulled the lid off her multi-tiered ornate bento box. My god, it looked amazing! Multiple cheers of joy erupted at the brilliant sight. That's amazing! It's just like New Year's food! It can't be! It has to be a lie! She must have switched the contest with contents with a catered bento. Such pure, purely Japanese cooking. Mion! Mion Sonazaki can't possibly make this! Hey, I already said she's a damn good cook. And we saw that in last game. And I'm happy with that. Perfect. Like I'm saying, she's perfect. No, if this was... This is easy for me, Chen, if she gets serious. She almost never gets serious, though. <laughs> Just well, who do you think this old man is? Given enough time and ingredients, I could even reproduce the Manchu Han Imperial Feast. <laughs> the entire classroom gulped audibly. Man, that's... It's fine by me. And everyone wrote down a score on the note paper in their hands simultaneously. 10 out of 10. It made sense. Just the visual impact would give her a perfect score. Alright, let's see what Rena made. Rena's really good at cooking too. Rena's bento is always like a flower arrangement. Haha! <laughs> Thanks everyone! I'll reveal my bento now. Yeah? Rena's bento was well, a beautiful mix of the two colors of eggs and r minced r meat, and it too was a bento staple. The Soboro bento. She had been through thorough, good, thorough with the side dishes as well, and they were abundant in number. She had spent more time than usual on it, but it was unassumingly and truly nonchalant. One couldn't ignore the household warmth in it that Mion's bento lacked. Man, fuck off. Mion stills the winner. Clear favorite. If I may say, you've done it, done it again. This should be get quite a high score. I should have known. It may look rigid, but there wasn't anything to deduct points from. Amazing as always. Once again, every one of the judges wrote a score on their notepaper at the same time. There seemed to be some... There seemed to be some who were revising their uh, their opinions when they compared it to Mion's scores, too. The whole class seemed split between Mion and Rena. And on everyone's face, it was clear that they all wanted to be tasting them rather than scoring them. Oh, I would love to be eating that. And we'll be next. Yes, I think now I will now reveal mine. Come to think of it, Satoko and Rika ate with me last night at my house. It was impressive that they still made a bento. Both their bentos were clearly lacking compared to Mion's artfulness and Rena's perfection. Ah, oh, way to show you're fucking biased. However, because of that, you could sense from them how hard they worked. 
The toppings were a little rough on the side, uh, on the rough side, but you could still feel that they tried their hardest. It made you feel a little biased so that you'd give them more points. Few people I was struck by just that once again revised their opinions and wrote in scores on their note paper. Satko, Rika, you both made really good bentos today. They might not measure up to Rena or Mion's craftsmanship, but when you think about that, they're pretty amazing. Satoko and Rika glanced at each other and grinned happily. This this is a secret, okay? Mutter mutter. Huh? What? When Satoko told me, I broke off from the others and secretly looked for my classmate uh for my classmates' bento boxes. They're Tomita and Okamuro's bento boxes. Took a quick peek inside and Huh? Half of the contents were missing. Oh, that's brutal. Oh, poor guy. Fuck. Oh, you gotta feel for him in a some way. They, they really, they really want some of that. Poor guys. Jesus Christ. Not bad. In the end, Satoko and Rika hadn't made bentos today. A bold move. They got Tomita and Okamura to share their bentos with them. Hey, Tomita, Okamura. How did they buy you out? They can literally anything. I'll hold your hand. What are you saying, Mayabara? When to, did we get bought out? And for what? Th that's right. It's not like we traded them our duty watering the garden for half our bentos. Curse you, Satoko. What an imp impudent trick. Satoko grinned, showing her fang-like canines and tri laughed in triumph. Oh, this is always something I learned from Keiichi. Oh, fuck off. Ho ho ho. Yes, oh ho ho. Yeah, how naive. Bind them, bind them out with watering duty alone. They're men. If you're going to buy them out, you need to use something a lot spicier than that. For example, hmm. Like giving them three tickets to walk Satoko and Enrico around like dog. Oh, oh, fuck off. <laughs> All day and... <laughs> With them on all fours wearing tails and with leashes around their necks. Yeah, you're, you're into some freaky shit, Gagey. Not gonna lie, you're into some really fucking weird shit. Can't say that does anything for me. That's just, uh, a bit too far. A little, a little too weird. Whoa, that might be enough to get me to do anything. No, that's no. I would just, if someone offered me that, I would just look at him and say, what the fuck is wrong with you? As I was lost in my wild, wild fantasies, Mion clapped me on the shoulder and called me back to reality. Damn, it was just getting good too. Ugh. Ugh. Creepy. Ugh. Bad, bad touch. Bad stuff. Alright, next up is Keichan's Bento. You're all hoping for something pretty great because of our declaration yes of your declaration yesterday. But how did it really turn out? KG can do it if he won't needs to. Prenna was really excited for today. Today. Ugh, they're all looking forward to it. No, Mion's fucking with you because she knows you're you're useless. But it's really just leftovers from dinner last night. I didn't even make it either. How was that supposed to stand up to Mion and Rena and the others? Uh, that's it. Feast your eyes on this. Ah! Literal piece of dog shit inside. I tore the lid off my bento box. There weren't very many cheers. There was literally nothing inside. Well, I guess there wouldn't be. Haha! <laughs> Gage, you tried your hardest too. Rena can tell how hard you worked. Rena, don't feel like you need to compliment me. Um, how did this happen? Was Keiichi actually a hard worker after all? <laughs> well, I mean, I want to acknowledge how hard you tried, but... For this showdown, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Mion's cold, mean laugh. It was like it spoke for everyone's opinion just like that. Um, um, Keiichi did really well considering it was his first challenge, you know? I think maybe everyone should rate his a little higher. Or oh, fucking rip. But for the showdown, it doesn't matter. Thank you, Rico. <laughs> Alright, Keijan. 
If you have any last words before we tally up the results, I'll listen to them now. <laughs> what do you mean by last words? I mean... <clears throat> I mean that if you might be hoping for a few extra points if you appeal somehow to the crowd. <laughs> After all, for today's showdown, you just need to avoid coming in last. If you do well enough, then maybe you'll be able to warm out of the punishment game. <laughs> You're implying that Keiichi's bento is going to take last place, aren't you? No, this old man wasn't trying to say wasn't trying to say anyone's bento came in last or anything. <laughs> Mion cackled repulsively. Yeah, that's not repulsive. I th it's hilarious because you're you deserve it. In contrast, Satoko's smile was growing somehow awkward. All right, this bento was filled with last night's side dishes. That means it was basically a bento that Satoko made. And Mion outright said it would come in last place. Oh, oh, that sucks. Oh, brutal. But to be fair, Keiichi's would have been worse. Mi-chan, aren't you being a little mean? Poor Keiichi. No, not poor Keiichi. Rana, Keichan knew he couldn't lose today's Bento's showdown beforehand, didn't he? He did all the grandstanding yesterday, well aware of that. I don't think there's any reason to go easy on him, do you? Right, Satoko? I mean, I can't disagree with uh, Mio in there. He, he was <clears throat> showing off too much. Y yes <clears throat> you're right and he came here with this mess it makes me laugh ho 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 wait Satoko he can't laugh at him but that bendo is just so ridiculous I can't help but laugh these side dishes look like they were brought f bought from a shop it's really disillusioning disillusioning look this one was just taken out of a can wasn't it this cucumber here isn't cut cleanly, like the knife didn't go all the way through. Okay, John, you never used a knife, did you? Your lack of experience is apparent. No, this goes far, it goes beyond a simple lack of experience. The presentation is fairly monotonous. Um, mon oh, god damn it. Oh, I can't, I don't know what the, f oh, god damn it. I can't remember. Fairly bland. I will fucking change it. It looks fairly bland as well. It's almost a shock to see such a lack of taste. Ha ha ha. It was my first experience putting food into a bento box, so... Of course it's not gonna look too good. Kei-chan, Kei-chan. There's a bigger problem than how you put it into the box. Tomita, Okamura. Please, it explain, please. Tomita and Okamura were chosen from our from our many underclassmen. Some believe he, he they are the only two named underclassmen because that's all that actually is named as an underclassman, it seems. Tomita quickly adjusted his glasses and took a step forward. The fatal flaw in Mayabaro's bento. It's the coloration. As you know, there are three primary colors forming the basis of all colors. So if you want a well-balanced color, balanced color scheme, then excluding white and black, you need those three colors. And neither, nevertheless, if you remove the white and black from Mayabaro's bento, all that would be left is dark green. Ah, uh, dark green. No one will want to eat it if you describe it that way. Exactly. You have to make it visually appealing. That's the whole point of food. If it's visually appealing, more people will eat it. I had forgotten. Tomita and Okamura had been bought out by Rika and Satoko, so they were trying their hardest to let them win and make me lose, weren't they? Ugh, what strong wills they have. It was charming if only because they were working so hard despite having been bought out. The side dishes have no spirit in them either. They're all pre-packaged or canned food. In other words, out of the three necessary requirements for a bento, love, spirit, and taste, we can assert that Mayabaro's bento is lacking two of these. The classmate convinced uh, by the elucidation of the mystery they were thoroughly baffled with raised their myster uh, mysterious groans of admiration. 
No heart and no spirit. It's decided then. Keiichi Maibara. Um... This may sound cold, but if you realize how much fun cooking is because of all of this, Keiichi, is, isn't that enough? Enough? In any case, everything is fine as long as I'm not doing the punishment game. God, Rika, fuck you. Aw, oh, too cold. Reno was giving a dry hee <laughs> smile as well. That is so cold, Rika. Oh, you heard me. Ho ho ho, it's been settled, Keiji. You're going to be the one doing the punishment game. Ho 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 ho. She laughed in such a vile manner, but she didn't look like she meant it. She knew that, I knew that Satoko was speaking ill of a bento that she'd practically made herself in front of the whole classroom, and I could feel, I could tell how painful that laughter was. Haha, <laughs> sucks to be you. Okumura said before that this bento lacked spirit. But among all, but among all the bento laid out here today, there wasn't a single one with as much spirit as this one. This meal that she made for me yesterday in, in such a good mood, Though it looked like she was in a bad mood, bad one. I won't let it stand end with this slander. Well then, last place, Keiji. Please admit your honest defeat already. Could you wait just a moment? When I began to speak in a low voice, the expression of all the members of a club of the club changed. My own collector tongue. This man was baring his fangs at the last moment again. My pinto was defeated because it lacks spirit? That's how you explained it. Am I wrong, Okamura? Okamura, who had suddenly been placed in the spotlight, looked flustered for a moment, but immediately he stammered and replied that I was right. How do you measure spirit? By difficulty? By effort? By sweat or tears? By its manifestation? Then how would you rate the, these burns that are still on my hands? Whoa, well, Keiichi, those, those are oil burns? Great, the burn marks from when I almost caused a fire yesterday look like, just like I was having a ton of trouble cooking. Oh boy. I could clearly tell that the classroom was forced to acknowledge the effort I put into it. I see. To turn your failures at, failures at cooking due to the lack of skill and scars of hard work instead. As I thought, I cannot falter around this man. That's right. I lack skill. I'm so bad at cooking that my grandstanding yesterday was pitiful. But I didn't run away. I fought. And I delivered these results. Is that not spirit? What do you think? Okay, Ichi. Trenton wants to acknowledge it. Nobody can keep go keep on going if their uh, defiant spirit doesn't get valued. The girls in the class started to nod in agreement. Okay, the tables are turning. But Tomita and Okamura, bought, bought out by the objects of their unrequited affection, weren't about to lose either. They shifted to the counterattack, clearly proceeding, exceeding the price they were paid. I see. I understand your feelings, Mayabara. However, if spirit was all that mattered in cooking, the world wouldn't need chefs. That's right. If a chef brought you burnt steak and said they put their spirit into it and tried hard, would you pay them? No, I'd demand another one. You wouldn't, would you? It's the same thing. That's right, that's how it goes. The male students, uh, took, the male students took Tomita and Okamura aside. God, they did have a point. What about con consideration? Even if you did get a totally black steak. If I knew how much the mother who made it struggled, I would eat it. I would eat it all. Clapping. This time the female students in the class took my side. Good. Now we're even. Besides, a bento is a refinement of one's love given form. And this is for me own. Just fuck it. Just throw that curve ball in there. She'll shut the fuck up. You know she will. Oh, she'd be too happy. Like, she would have been making fun of it all this time, and they're like, oh. Well, I mean, that's, that's great and all. It only means something when the other person feels that way. Does your bento make us feel that way, Mayabara? No, it doesn't make me feel that way. I am not turning gay for you, Mayabara. 
I do not swing that way for you. You're mean! The girls in the class began to boo loudly at his remark. Now even Okamura was panicking. Oh, order, order! Will the spectators please refrain from making remarks? Your Honor, in order to prove how much of my spirit had gone into this bendo, I call Miss Ryuku Rena an authority in the culinary arts to the stand. Nothing like throwing this into a court setting, why not? Fuck it, I can do this. Um... Rena thinks that this bento has spirit in it. It might be rather artless in places. But I think cooking isn't just about outward appearances. The girls in the class again gave cries of support as they applauded. In, resp in response uh, in the class, God, God, all the men in the class began to boo. What, what the fuck? You guys are supposed to be on my side. Your honor. The opinions of Mayabara and Keiichi are extremely sentimental and aren't in following with common sense. They are unsuitable to use as evidence. Actually, incorrect. You can use just bullshit evidence. It's up to the jury to decide if that bullshit evidence is uh, useful in court. Order, order. The prosecution's objection is sustained. Go ahead. Fuck. Ahem. Let's replace the bento in question with the birthday present, for example. True, you would not get pissed. Well, you shouldn't get pissed at anyone that like gives you something shitty for a birthday. You shouldn't be. Unless, of course, they like forgot last minute and like, oh, here, yeah. This is all I could do for you. Yay, here you go. Let's say on my birthday, I, Tomita, received a hand-knit sweater. And he, Okamura, received a bookstore a bookstore gift certificate for 10,000 yen. Oh, ballin'. Though that's only $100, but I mean, I'll take a free $100. That felt strangely real. Was it actually just an example? Common sense dictates which of them has the spirit. It is, of course, the hand-knit sweater. If we went back to the bento, this would mean would be hand handmade ha handmade side dishes. I swear I can fucking read. And the gift gift certificate, which is nothing more than money, allows you to buy things. In other words, it's the same as simple, meaningless canned goods. See, I'm gonna disagree with you because money is still something valuable. It's still something very important. You can't survive without money. What's a fucking knit scarf gonna do for you when you have to pay the electric bill? I would just say, yeah, you can shove your fucking knit scarf, give me $80. Or just $20 towards it, please, something. Murmur, murmur, murmur. The boys and girls all began to argue amongst themselves about presents. They were all talking about what they received as presents in the past. Oh my god. God damn it. Oh, nothing like children. Damn. Tomita, he changed the subject to something that could easily grab everyone's attention. Not bad. I'll lose the initiative at this rate. OBJECTION! This matter regards the spirit put into the bento. It is entirely different from birthday presents as they are in such each unique situations. Overruled. Will the prosecution please continue? Fuck off, Mion. Damn. You don't even- you haven't even passed the bar. Now then. What's important here is the fact that the spirit of the giver and spirit of the receiver are totally different. Between the handmade sweater that looks a little bit askew and the 10,000 yen bookstore gift certificate placed here before your very eyes, which would you say is the better choice? They're both, uh, well... Eh, I'd rather... If it wasn't a bookstore gift... Uh, uh, gift card. If it wasn't a bookstore gift card, I would take that. It was a straight up hundred dollars. The gift certificate, right? It's a hundred, ten thousand yen. Ten thousand. Can you calculate how many comics books you could buy with that? You could instantly complete a full collection if it was around ten volumes long. Dozens of happiest, humorous, slightly perverted manga. The bliss of your of yours. The bliss of your soothed heart can't compare to the sweater. The boys unanimously praised that with applause. Materialistic brats. Ugh, all guys that age are like that. 
Well, even if I could, I would choose the gift certificate over the sweater in that case. Hey, wait, were you guys the ones who said it was about love, spirit, and taste right at the start? Since when did taste trump all? That's the stance that we're taking taking now. I believe this has demonstrated that the spirit of the giver and the spirit of the receiver have no casual relationship. Yes. No matter how much Maya Barra struggled to make this bento, that cannot enter into consideration for the rest of us on the receiving end. Mere sophist sophistry, Tomita. It's plenty of spirit. Whenever that gets through or not is the receiver's problem. That's right. Ooh, taste is most important. Enemy of women. What? What was that ugly? Jesus Christ. And now the courtroom is chaos. But I can't allow myself to lose. And not only and not only to avoid the punishment game, but also to protect Satoko's honor. I don't give a fuck about her. Now then, do the defendants have a response to give? Slowly and strongly I nod and step up to the dais. Uh, di Tomita Hokamura. Do you two really think you can beat me with those words? With mere words. I am a god in comparison to you. Oh, I don't know. Don't know what that puts me and Keiichi on level. I'm the. I'm his god. Keiichi may be a god to them. I am the god of them, of him. The prosecution just said that we should value the gift without basing it on the spirit of the giver. Correct. At some point, I began speaking formally. Yeah, that's right. No matter how much you labor to make that bento, the, that labor should not factor into our grading. Then I have a question for the prosecution. If I, Mario Barra, were to take the bento I made for today and place it beside one brought from the store, would both of these be given the same sco score? The prosecution hesitated to speak. Got ya. That's right. A convenience store bento doesn't even come close to a homemade one. No matter how bad it, badly made it is, it has far more spirit than a bento that you just bought it would ever have. You see, that spirit is being graded. Meaning the spirit the, the cook put into the bento has already reached the recipients. Admit it! Boom! With those impactful words drawn in the air behind me, I pointed my finger. You wrong! The girls led by Rena broke into applause. Some of the boys were admitting it, too. Nah, I'll admit it. You admitted it? You admitted it, right? Uh, uh what, what, what do you admit again? What was it? Now let's move to why a convenience store bento has no spirit in it. What exactly is the spirit in a bento in the first place? Objection! Maivar is trying to deceive the court by using abstract expressions. Objection overruled. Yes, Mion is on my side. Let's go. This sounds interesting, so listen till he's done. Got them. Now I'll show you two the difference between us. Your Honor, I'd like to call Miss Rika Furude to the stand as a witness. Meep. Even for Rika, that must have seemed like a bolt from the blue. There's no doubt that she never dreamed the point of my spear would be aiming at her. But Rika, you said it before. For this showdown, it doesn't matter. Rika Furude, your pento today was very well made. It looks delicious. <laughs> Me? Yes. Satoko and Rika's bento had been made, a, made of half of Tomita and Okamura's. The prosecution's face turned pale, but they were too late. Rena, would you bring Okamura's bento over here? Got him! Huh? Okay, sure. Your Honor, my bento has no relevance to this case. Overruled. Yes. <laughs> Your Honor, I submit Okamura's bento box as evidence. Look at it. Look at it. What's inside? Hmm. <laughs> there's only half in there. It's not about whether there's half. Please look a little more closely. See. It's the exact same. Oh my god. Thus, we should disqualify Rika and Satago. They'd lose. 
Huh? They're exactly the same. Your Honor, you've seen it. Miss Farika Furude's bento is stolen from Okamura's. There is no way such a thing could have spirit in it. No, but that's just a coincidence. It's already obvious. Spirit? It's a game of catch between the giver and the receiver. The bento box, then, is the ball. That bento was something Okamura was given from mother to son. That means Okamura is the only one who can feel the spirit from this bento box. Now that it's been disturbed and been stolen, it no longer has that spirit. Dun dun dun. Yeah, that did it. Huh? What? Is that true? Rika, is that true? Me. Hipa. <laughs> I see how it is. Mio and the judge folded their arms and began to hum. I couldn't even take a guess as to what Mion was laughing about. Frankly, I didn't know, and whether I would win or lose. Okay. Before announcing my judgment, I'll stop from start from the top. Shh. The entire classroom quieted. First, from an objective standpoint, there is no doubt that the bento of the accused Maya, Keiji Mayabara must be seen as poorly made. This is something that the grading results clearly display. Gah! But, as Keichan said, cooking is not all about taste. The spirit put into it should be considered uh, subtle seasoning. For grading, though, that would only amount to a few points. It's so subtle that it's en not enough to alter the results. Fine by me. Gah! Now then, I'd like to mention the original reason for today's bento showdown. What was the reason for it? That's right. We started to see whether the accused Keiichi Mayabara could cook for himself and to measure the results. Yeah. That's right. Keiichi did make his own bento. Ugh, that stung my conscience a bit, but for the showdown it didn't matter. So, the whole basis behind the showdown was to cook a meal for yourself. In other words, whether or not the meal was homemade. Rika neglected to do that. It's a much bigger problem than how good our bento is. In other words, is she disqualified? Nipa! Rika let out a Nipa, looking as though she had prepared herself for this outcome. Brutal. Don't take it personally, Rika. How dark love things like that don't matter. Keiichi did well, like I thought. He you tried your hardest until the very end. Rika demanded, uh, demanded I lower my head, then she petted. Without over with, the case is closed. Today, last place goes to Rika Furude. What? That miraculous turnaround. And last place went to Rika. The one everyone, the one everyone had ex least expected. The whole classroom went wild. We'll burn this fucker to the ground. Oh, God.